tech quán tech quán Check one. Check one. Hari, right. Uh, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. Today is the continuation of uh, Colombo Zonal Second Term Science Paper MCQ discussion. Our first day already we did MCQ 1 to 20. Today we will continue from there 20 to 40. Remaining part we will discuss and finish it off today. Hari, 
quickly tell me is all the dios perfect groups are open youtube la mai zoom people all video audio all okay Okay, no? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Right. Me, Arakalama, me. In the Zoom, the hand is getting raised because the picture hand raised. No, so Zoom has a feature where it identify the pictures. So when you raise the hand, yeah, it automatically raises the hand. <laughs> That's what I off. I was offing it again and again because of the picture. Hurry, right. <clears throat> Go up a paper. Past the Columbo zone at the time. Hmm. After Columbo zone, I will be going into candy paper. The central province paper will start discussing. So today we are finishing Columbus Zonal MCQ fully. We are finishing. After the MCQ discussion, we will slowly shift into Candy Zonal as well. After the Candy one, I will tell what next. Okay, what next? Plus, uh, in the month of January, there is a totally different plan. I will inform about that planner also slowly. Hmm. I will inform the planner. Now, January, most of you are getting your holidays. Hey, what to be done during that month? Because now, January... It's like a whole package for you. 30 days are there. Actually, more than 30 days because you all are getting the holiday most probably by 22nd, 23rd. Until February first week, you all are at a holiday. So, if we round up, more than 30 days. More than 30 days. 30, 35, 36, so again. More than 30 days, you all are at a certain holiday. If you use it 100%, if you use it, if you are a productive, if you use it in that way, guaranteed all your results will hike up. So from my end, I will also do some things during January. From my end, I will do some things during January. Together with you, together with that, I want your support also to hike up your results. Now, whatever, now second term exam is over, whatever the results that you are at. Now, I want it to hike up by January. I will tell you what to be done, how to do everything. I will slowly, slowly tell. Okay, not only science. I am talking about all the nine subjects. All the nine subjects, how we are going to work. I will tell. All right. We will slowly start discussing the paper. Meanwhile, I will talk to you all. Take the paper. Take the paper. Me YouTube la my under the, under the, or, uh, me, dis, dis, discuss the description part. You have the paper. Huh? YouTube la my letter. Under the description part, you have the paper. Are 20 questions done. 20 questions done. Just as a reminder, we'll ask some questions from the first 20 we did. Up to the first 20 we did, I'll ask some questions and go. Ah, quickly. Um, question 10. Question 10. Last week we did that. Phylum in which body is divided into equal segments, internally, externally. Without looking at the answer, tell me. Equal segments, internally, externally. What is the phylum? What is the phylum divided into equal segments internally and externally? Chatta Patagala tell me. Very good. Perfect. Analida. Perfect. Analida. Ah. Question 7. Question 7. Question 7. What is the correct choice which act as the human respiratory surface? Without looking at the answer, tell me. Human respiratory surface. Human respiratory surface. What's the answer? Human respiratory surface. All, 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 all. Back to the form now, now, now. Our sleepiness, everything now, you should get away. Ah, ah. What's the answer? What's the answer? Very good. Wall of alveoli. Nothing alveoli wall. Answer one. Answer one. Wall of alveoli, nothing alveoli wall. Answer one. Answer one. Answer one. Answer one. Right. Substance which cannot be present in glomerular filtrate. 
substance which cannot be found in glomerular filtrate. Looking at the answer, tell me which cannot be present. What cannot be present in glomerular filtrate? What cannot be present in glomerular filtrate? Perfect. Albumin. Lamai albumin is what? Albumin is what? What is albumin? What is albumin? And what category albumin come? And what category albumin come? Ah, plasma protein. Very good. Protein. Plasma protein. So plasma protein not present in glomerular filtrate. Therefore, albumin not there. Right. Very good. You have done your homework. Again, I told you start studying here. You are done. But perfect. Right. Today from question 20. Today from question 20 we did, no? Number of moles in 24 gram. 20 we did. Up to 20 we did. We will continue from 21. We will continue from 21. Part the question. Eh? Maru question. Hmm. When 20 Newton force is applied on a piston A of the hydraulic press. Hmm. In the diagram, the upward force exerted by the piston or by the fluid on the piston B is. Leave this question away. Leave this question away. We will remind a little bit about this theory part. We will remind a little bit about this theory part. Can you all remember under hydrostatics, under grade 10 hydrostatics, you learn something called transmission of pressure through liquid. Can you all remember? Believe me, you all learned it. Na? Transmission of pressure through liquid under hydrostatics, you learned. It's actually a principle. You call it principle of transmission of pressure through liquid. Principle of transmission of pressure through liquid. I will write it in short. Principle of transmission of pressure through liquids. Pressure through liquids. Hmm? Principle of my letters don't think about that. Principle of transmission of pressure through liquids. Now listen, nah? I know y'all can remember it very well. Abhi, again, we will remind it. Listen very carefully. Huh? Eyes on the screen, all the other things are will listen very carefully. What does principle of transmission of pressure through liquids tells us? Lamai, liquids are incompressible. Incompressible means you can't compress it. Now, if you take a liquid, it's very, very hard. Anyway, you cannot compress it. If you take a solid, you can compress it. No? Have you seen there are some Instagram v reels, Facebook reels or YouTube reels also in which they keep a, keep a solid substance and they compress it and show. Have you seen those reels? Nothing, those videos. Ah, they compress it. So solid substance, you can compress it. Gases also you can compress. Liquids you cannot compress. Using that property lamai, a principle is developed. That is principle of transmission of pressure through liquids. Now what does this tell us? Listen. Let's take you have a. Let's take you have a fully enclosed system consisting of some liquid. A fully enclosed system consisting of liquid. It's fully enclosed. Fully filled with liquid. A fully enclosed system consisting of liquid. If I exert some pressure here, if I exert some pressure here, I am exerting. I am going and pushing it. If I exert some pressure here on the liquid, that same pressure will be transmitted on the other side as well. If I apply some pressure on this liquid here, that same pressure will be transmitted from the other side. True, no, Lamai? Let's take you have a pipeline like this. You press the liquid here. From the other side, liquid will splash out. No? Think practically. Hmm? You press the liquid. You apply some pressure. From the other side, liquid will splash out. It can be from the other side, that same pressure is transmitted. This is principle of transmission of pressure through liquids. So, what does principle of transmission of pressure through liquids tells us? In a fully enclosed liquid, 
in a fully enclosed liquid pressure exerted at one point is equally transmitted to the other points as well what are that in a fully enclosed liquid pressure exerted at one point you are exerting some pressure you are doing and pushing it that same pressure is transmitted on the other point as well principle of transmission of pressure through liquids okay so you take a liquid you exert some pressure that same pressure will be transmitted to the other side using this principle there are three machines developed using this principle there are three machines developed what are the three machines number 1 hydraulic 1 hydraulic press hydraulic press question was asked from this part huh? or uh, mcq question came from this part the others are hydraulic jack hydraulic jack and brake systems in vehicle brake systems in vehicle have you heard your father sometimes tells i went this time for the service to change the brake oil or there was a leak in the brake oil there was a issue with the brake oil he sometimes tells that brake oil is the liquid which transmits the pressure from the master piston in the brake to the slave piston in the brake so master piston to slave piston you actually call it master cylinder to slave cylinder pressure is transmitted through brake oil brake oil is a fluid so they are transmission of pressure through liquids is so what are the three machines where principle of transmission of pressure through liquids is used hydraulic press hydraulic jack brake system you don't need to learn much about hydraulic jack and brake system but brake system just remember the diagram there how the master cylinder is placed how the slave cylinder is placed how the pedal is placed just remember the diagram same diagram is given in the textbook but hydraulic press as a small calculation part you need to remember hmm. now where you go hydraulic press hydraulic press hydraulic press hydraulic press hydraulic press listen very carefully huh? let me if you take a hydraulic press listen if you take a hydraulic press it has a smaller piston and a larger piston it has a smaller piston and a larger piston listen ne eh? it has a smaller piston and a larger piston there you go that are connected together so small piston is there large piston is there they are connected together small piston there you go large piston there you go small piston and large piston in between these two piston are is a certain liquid filled usually they fill it with oil oil is the best liquid to be filled but however you can fill any liquid now that doesn't mean you can go and fill some water i e if you fill water it will get rusted inside so most suitable liquid is oil so they fill oil inside a hydraulic press now using a hydraulic press what you can do you can lift a larger weight by applying a smaller force here what you can do you can lift a larger weight by applying a smaller force here there you go let's take you have a big car you wanted to lift it you all tell me lamai can you go and lift it like this no no you can't lift it because to lift it you need to apply a larger force there you should apply a force equal to its weight what or that you need to apply a force equal to the weight of that vehicle if you want to lift it can you directly apply it no so using a hydraulic press actually you can do it using a smaller force using a smaller force f1 you can lift a larger weight f2 using a smaller force f1 you can lift a larger weight f2 you might ask me sir how is how is it possible how can we lift a larger weight using a smaller force this is where principle of 
transmission of pressure through liquids come what the principle of transmission of pressure through liquids tells us in a fully enclosed liquid in a fully enclosed liquid pressure exerted at one point i will name this point as x pressure exerted at one point is equally transmitted to the other point as well i will name it as y so pressure exerted on x is equally transmitted on y due to this you can lift a larger weight using a smaller you can actually show this mathematically that equation you need to memorize and keep that question came from that equation you can mathematically show you still you can't think no how can you apply a smaller force to lift the larger weight still you can't think no you can mathematically show i will show that before that up to they are clear before that up to they are clear any doubts up to they are clear clear no hmm. so what can you do using a hydraulic press you can lift a larger weight applying a smaller force what principle is used in a hydraulic press principle of transmission of pressure through liquids okay right now we'll work it with maths little bit of maths coming into play now little bit of maths coming into play see i will take the area of the smaller piston as a1 area the a1 area of the larger piston as a2 area of larger piston a2 smaller piston a1 larger piston a2 smaller piston the force you exert is f1 larger piston the force you exert is f2 now we will write the mathematical part of it. what does principle of transmission of pressure through liquids tells us in a fully enclosed liquid pressure applied at one point is equally transmitted to the other point as well no that means pressure exerted at x is equal to the pressure at y isn't it pressure exerted at x is equal to the pressure at y i e pressure exerted at one point is equally transmitted to the other point so according to the principle pressure exerted at x is exactly equal to pressure at y Mm. now you all tell me what's the basic equation for pressure what's the basic equation for pressure what's the basic equation for pressure something divided by something what is that something divided by something you all tell what's the basic equation for pressure what's the basic equation for pressure have a grade 9 work on huh? pressure equation ah very good actually it is perpendicular force divided by area this is the basic equation for pressure no? pressure is perpendicular force divided by area simply force over area now pressure at x is equal to force f1 divided by a1 correct no pressure at x is equal to force f1 divided by the area a1 correct no why pressure is force over area then that pressure is force f1 divided by area a1 then you all tell me what is the pressure at y same way write me the equation for pressure at y same way write me the equation for pressure at y simple ah huh? don't think much or don't think like scientist very simply think what is the pressure at y something divided by something ah very good force f2 divided by a2 now my this is the pressure at x this is the pressure at y now what can we tell pressure at x pressure at y are equal they go very important equation in a hydraulic press force over area in the small piston is exactly equal to force over area in the larger piston force over area in small piston equal to force over area in large piston 
still you will tell me anisa this is a useless equation no what can we do with it this force divided by area this force divided by area what can you do will do a small question with that all your doubts will be solved now still some of you have a doubt no so how can we lift a larger weight using a smaller force still some of you have that problem no? everything will be solved once when we do this question will work a example question will work a example question no need to write shortly write ha huh? shortly write force exerted on small piston is no need to write fully ha huh? force exerted on small piston is force exerted on small piston is uh, 100 newton 100 newton area of small piston is area of small piston is 10 cm squared area of large piston is area of large piston is 100 cm squared 100 cm squared force exerted on small piston is given area of small piston is given area of large piston is given i am going to ask what is the weight of the object lifted what is the weight of the object lifted weight of the object yanne the force exerted on large piston no large piston force will lift the weight so that force should be equal to the weight i am asking what is the weight try force on small piston given area of small piston given area of large piston given i am asking what is the weight of the object lifted what is the weight of the object lifted what is the weight of the object lifted don't be at a hurry slowly do and say send slowly slowly do and send ah uh, very good no need to be at a hurry mm good right there you go before applying the equation before applying the equation force on small piston that is f1 area of small piston that is a1 area of large piston that is a2 what are they asking f2 they asking f2 hmm apply the equation nothing big nothing big f1 over a1 equals f2 over a2 f1 is they are directly 100 newton a1 is they are 10 cm squared f2 you don't know i will keep it as f2 a2 you know large piston 100 cm squared after this maths after this maths find f2 subject f2 and find f2 find f2 what's the value what's the value to find f2 you should take this to the other side division on other side become multiplication then f2 is 100 over 10 into 100 i will write without the units because you know final answer will come in newtons 1010 cancel out 100 into 10 is 1000 newton 1000 newton that is f2 that is the weight of the object okay so what you understand from this can you see using a hydraulic press you can lift a larger weight by applying a smaller force 100 newton force is applied 1000 newton of weight is lifted 100 newton force converted to 1000 newton that is what principle of transmission of pressure through liquids will do in a hydraulic press so now understood it mathematically theoretically also i taught you mathematically also done now understood that section fully fully understood hmm. so what's the equation you should keep in mind no need to know how to take this equation and all just keep in mind hydraulic press any calculation f1 over a1 equal f2 over a2 that's the equation f1 is force in the small piston a1 is area of the small piston f2 is force on the large piston a2 is area of the large piston guaranteed in all the questions that they ask 
they will give one of the three values. Uh, sorry, they will give three values. They will give three values. They will ask one. That is how mathematical questions are made. No? If there is an equation with four variables, not four terms, three terms will be given. One term will be asked. That is how mathematical questions are made. That is how you solve mathematical questions. If there is a question, there is an equation with four terms. Three terms should be given. That means there should be a method to find those three terms. And finally, you can find that final term. Okay. Ah, go to that question and finish it. Those who are suffering. Do it and tell me. Uh, when 20 newton force is applied on piston A, piston A is this small piston. It can. This is F1. No. 20 newton force is applied on F1. Uh, you know, I don't know, upward force, uh, piston B. They are asking the force exerted on piston B. That means they are asking F2. Area A1 is given 10 cm squared. Area A2 is given 20 cm squared. Use the equation, find the answer. See, three known, three things are given. F1 given, A1 given, A2 given. They are asking F2. Three things given, one thing asked. Do, 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 do. Work, 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 get up, get up. Mm, 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 mm. Don't be lazy. Three more months. Three, three, the three never in then are December. Sorry. Three never four months. Four more months. Work, 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 work. Get up, take the pen, take the pen, take the pen. Write, write the equation. F1 over A1 equal A F2 A over A2. Apply the values, do the math. Work, 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 work. Ara, have you seen that post? In, in a big building, all the lights in the rooms are off, but one light in one single room is on. And under that, they, 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 they put a meme telling, uh, this is a software engineer's house. This is a engineer's house. Eva <laughs> gave our classes. All the lights are off. Only your lights are on. Hey, my buddy. Mm, work. What's the answer? Very good. Mm. So, what's the answer? F1 over A1 divided by F2 over A2. F1 is given 20 Newton. A1, uh, A1 10 centimeter squared. 10 centimeter squared. F2, they are asking A2 20 centimeter squared. 20, 200, no? 200 centimeter squared. Mm. Take this to the other side, find the answer. F2 equals 20 divided by 10 into 200. 1010 10 cancel out. 20, 20. 20, 20 is 400. 400 Newton. What's the answer? Answer 1. Answer 1. So, can you see physics questions are some useless questions? I.e. They, they give big sentences. They give big diagrams. Now, no, this diagram is useless. No, I? Can you see? Are some students, when they see the diagram, oh, what a theory. Can't do this. That's how you think. No, when you see the diagram, that's how you think. The theory. Big diagram is given. I can't do this question. So, this diagram is actually useless. Only two things we need, A1 and A2. When you know that, you can do the question. So, remember, physics is not at all hard. Only thing is, they decorate it bigger. They, they tell like, you know, instead, now they can make this question also very big. A container is coming. The container has to be lifted. Uh, container, they can make it more bigger. A container has many wheels. Uh, it's hard to park it in a hydraulic press. Somehow driver managed to park it. He got the license from DMT. <laughs> they can make a big sentence and finally ask how much of force is needed. That's how questions are. Asked. Okay. All right. So simple. Answer one, 400 Newton. Mm. Other questions are simple. Which substances, sorry, which substance makes a 
heterogeneous mixture when dissolved in water heterogeneous mixture when dissolved in water lama listen hmm? mixtures mixtures listen eh mixtures you can basically divide them into two what are the two types of mixtures the mixture that you buy at gram store the mixture that you buy at david gram no that that mixture i am talking about mixture in science you can divide it into two what are the two homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture what are the two again homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture now my now am i again you are not going to study this today now you study this finish it off make it a tata bye bye now same way the previous one hydrostatic pressure this section again you are not going to study today now you study do question put it to the mind hey my we are working that's how we are working so focus listen 100% get the use put it to the mind put it to the mind don't make it a waste because you are using your data you are sitting the lights are on electricity is used you are writing something don't make it a waste because most of the things that you see, except one the time the time that is gone is gone now see this one second gone is gone so this one second use it 100% productive make it to the to 100 no 200% productive so each and every second you spend in your life make it 200% productive such that you don't need to look back and worry on it instead you can look back and be happy of it ehinda each and every second try somehow to develop yourself try somehow to make it productive each and every second ah now listen so now half an hour half an hour one hour one and a half hour two hour whatever the time that you are sitting here make it 100% productive such that you don't need to look back those sections again because if you are going to look back that section again that mean whatever you spent during this time became a waste no? don't do it hurry hmm. mixtures there are two types homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture what is homogeneous mixture very simple if you look at the mixture, if you look at the mixture the color transparency density throughout the mixture is same color transparency density throughout the mixture is same what 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 color transparency density throughout the mixture is that means composition throughout the mixture is that means what composition throughout the mixture is same. very simple sugar solution water and sugar together wherever the wherever you look in the mixture color transparency density same no top also color is same bottom also color is same wherever you look in the mixture color transparency density same that mean composition same so sugar solution salt solution homogeneous mixture opposite is heterogeneous mixture they no need to memorize anything no because we memorize homogeneous what is homogeneous color transparency density same throughout the mixture homo then hetero means color transparency density not same now when you look throughout the mixture color transparency density are not same that means you take a mixture of heterogeneous mixture the color at the top is not the color at the bottom so different colors are there different transparency can be there different densities can be there that means composition throughout the mixture is different for example pepper and salt together pepper and salt together sometimes at the top there will be more pepper color is more blackish and at the bottom there can be more salt bottom is more whitish can you see color throughout the mixture not same top is more blackish bottom is more whitish transparency not same density then not same composition not same heterogeneous so mixtures two types homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture color transparency density in homogeneous mixture same color transparency uh, density in heterogeneous mixture different composition same composition different that's it 
Okay. Now we'll go back. Which of the substance makes a hetero, 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 different? When dissolved in water, you take it, put it in water, it should make a heterogeneous mixture. Then you all tell me, Lama. Should that substance dissolve well in water or should not dissolve well in water? To make a heterogeneous mixture, that substance should dissolve well in water or not? Should not dissolve in water. Should the should not the. Should the should not the. Should dissolve, should not. Should not know am I. If it dissolves well, color transparency density throughout the mixture will be same, it will be homogeneous. If it doesn't dissolve well, color not same. Transparency most probably not same. Density not same. Composition not same. Heterogeneous mix. Mm. First answer ethyl alcohol. Ah, my dear boys, tell me, alcohol in water. If you don't know, ask from your father and quickly tell me. Now. Oh, mother, hit her other. Does it dissolve well? Doesn't dissolve well? Ah, it dissolves well. Then I don't ask me, sir, how do you know? If you know, tell us. <laughs> Ethyl alcohol is actually it's a normal type of alcohol. You can find it in lab. That's why it's good to do science. You do A-level chemistry, you make alcohol in lab. You will make alcohol. You will know our kasipu again. You will know how to make kasipu. If your school is really good, they will make in the science lab. We made it. We made it. No one drank it. Because we didn't have the system to separate the Methyl and ethyl of it, a hinda me couldn't separate. If we couldn't can separate, then super. Hurry, 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 hurry. So ethyl alcohol is a homogeneous mixture. Lama sugar solution, homo hetero. Sugar solution, homo hetero. Homo ne? Homo ne? Homo, homo. Answer wrong. This is also wrong. Wheat fly will keep copper sulfate. Lama, when you put copper sulfate in water, Copper sulfate is a salt. Now you very well know it, no? Acid base is salt, you very well learnt it, no? Copper sulfate is a salt. Remember, salts dissolve well in water. Salts dissolve well in water. Copper sulfate wrong. This one asked from your mother. Can you dissolve wheat flour well in water? You will tell me, yes, sir. You do it and keep it for one day and check it later. You dissolve, you try to dissolve wheat flour in water and keep it for one day until it settles down. What will be the mixture the next day? Next day at the bottom there will be flour, top there will be water. Have you done it? Top there will be water, bottom there will be wheat flour. Mm, flour layer deposits, very good. Flour layer deposits. So is it home or no? So remember, wheat flour in water is hetero. So answer is answer. Three. Answer is answer three. Answer is answer three. Answer. Answer containing phenotype. Phenotype ki ani lamai. Phenotype you represent it using letters. Capital T, simple T, hema. Phenotype of a heterozygous. Lamai remember always hetero means different. Homo means same. Hetero different. Homo same. Heterozygous organism for characteristic tall. Can you remember capital T you take tall, capital T is tall, simple T you take it short, simple T you take it short. Now see, capital T, capital T, both are same, no? Homozygous, no? Can it be heterozygous? No. Simple T, simple T, both are same, no? Homozygous, no? Again, they have given that same answer, no? Capital T, capital T, simple T, simple T. Both are same, no? Homozygous, no? But look at this. Dominant feature tall, recessive feature short. Two different features together, but however, dominant will be tall. That's what they are asking, characteristic tall. Dominant will be tall. So, two different features together. Now, my different means hetero. So, your answer is answer to capital T, simple T. 
Remember, all the others are homozygous characters. Homozygous. This is heterozygous. Capital T symbol T heterozygous. Simple question. Right. Mm. Element used as the atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit is carbon. What element is used as atomic mass unit? Carbon. Actually, if you properly tell, if you properly tell, if you properly properly tell, it is carbon six twelve isotope. Carbon six twelve isotope is used as atomic mass unit atomic mass unit carbon 612 isotope is used. okay right now a task for you all two d task for you all atomic mass unit equals 1 over 12 into dash 1 over 12 into dash fill the blanks here Atomic mass unit equal 1 over 12 into dash. Fill the blank here. Try, 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 try. I think don't wait until someone else tells. Eh? Remember in life, no one else is going to help you. You are only there for yourself. Think and tell. You somehow, somewhere you learned. Done day, at least. Boru hari kyan. Somewhere, some, some, some you have learnt is atomic mass unit 1 over 12 into something you learnt. What is that something? What is that something? YouTube Lama, I also put the answer in the group huh? because I don't check the YouTube much. YouTube Lama, I take a, put it to the group. Think, 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 think. 1 over 12 into something. Ah, uh, we got the answer. Very good. 1 over 12 into mass of carbon 612 isotope. Carbon 612 isotope. This is atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit is 1 over 12 into mass of carbon 612 isotope. So, can you see? For atomic mass unit, carbon 612 isotope is used. Okay. Okay. It was a past paper question on huh? this filling the blank one. Hurry. So, what's your answer? Answer 3. Car actual answer should be carbon 612 isotope. That's the correct answer. Electronic configuration of a certain element is 284. Electronic configuration 284. What's the group number and period number? Right. Listen very carefully. The my electronic configuration given 284 given. This is the electronic configuration. Remember, in the electronic configuration, number of electrons in the valence shell, number of electrons in the valence shell, number of electrons in the valence shell will give us the group number. Number of electrons in the valence shell will give us the group number. Then what is the group number of this element? Number of electrons in the valence shell is 4. Then group number 4. Group numbers are written in Roman number. Then that's the group number. And number of energy levels. Number of energy level. 1, 2, 3. Number of energy level, three energy levels are there. Number of energy level will give us the period number. Period number. Then how many energy levels are there? One, two, three. Then period number three. Group number four, period number three. Group number four, period number three. Now you all tell me. Now you all tell me. Two, six. First, send me the group number and then send me the period number. Try to type the group number in Roman number and period number in normal or 
Hindu Arabic now. 26. Electronic configuration of an element is 26. Send me the group number and period number. Electronic configuration given. Send me the group number, period number. Work, 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 work. Now we learn. Now we learn. Put it to the mind. Put it to the mind. Again, you are not going to study. I told you, whoever here, again, you are not going to study this. Work. Think, think. Just now we learned. Just now we learned. All of you will answer this. Hmm. Number of electrons in the valence shell is group number. Number of electrons in the valence shell is 6. Then group number 6. Number of energy levels is period number. Two energy levels are there, period two. So now, now you understood this concept. Again, you can't make it wrong. So group four, period three, what's your answer? Group four, period three, answer two. Answer two. Answer two. Answer only with a vector quantity is. Answer only with the vector quantity is. Answer only with the vector quantity is. Now my we know quantities, there are two types. Physical quantity, there are two types. One, scalar quantity, the other, vector quantity. Scalar quantity, vector quantity. Scalar quantity has only one thing. What is in magnitude? Vector quantities have two things. What are the two, two things? Magnitude and direction. So, scalar quantities have only a magnitude. Vector quantities have both magnitude and direction. I have taught you a shortcut to remember this also. A, B, C, D, E, F in that order. S and V. What comes first? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, A, M, I, Anakota. When we go like that. What comes first? S comes first. A, B, C, D, E, M. When we are going alphabetical order, S comes first. V comes second comes first, V comes second. S, scalar quantities have only one thing, magnitude. V, vector quantities have two things, magnitude and direction. Scalars have only one thing, magnitude. Vectors have two things, magnitude and direction. Now, this question actually has a problem. Weight. Now, my weight, it has a magnitude. That we know no weight as a magnitude, 10 Newton, 20 Newton, 30 Newton, even magnitude is there. Does it have a direction or not? Think and tell. Or chuti lamai vage don't think. Think and tell, does weight have a direction or not? Those are telling, yes, tell me the direction as well. What's the direction? What's the direction of the weight? What's the direction of weight? Hmm, very good. Most of you are telling downward. Okay. Now, until now, thinking pattern is good. But remember, actually, Earth is there. Center is there. You stand here. Your weight is directed towards the center of the earth. Your weight is directed towards the center of the earth. You stand here. You stand there. Still, your weight is directed towards the center of the earth. Your weight is directed towards center of the earth. So, actual direction is weight is directed towards center of the earth. That's the correct answer. Downwards also okay. Because we talk relative to the flow. No? Relative to the flow, the weight is directed downwards. That's also correct. Somewhat correct. So, actual phenomenon is towards the center. Towards the center of the earth. Towards the center of the earth. If you go to moon, towards the center of the moon. If you go to Jupiter, towards the center of Jupiter. So, planet to planet, your gravitational acceleration will change. Therefore, the weight will also change. That means weight have a magnitude as well as direction. It's a vector quantity. Weight is a vector quantity. We'll mark like this and go. Go on. Uh, I'll mark V and S. 
weight is a vector quantity they are asking only vectors no mass mass has a magnitude does it have a direction 30 kilogram 20 kilogram 50 kilogram 90 kilogram does it have a direction if so tell me the direction those are telling yes tell me the direction as well now this bottle 2 kilogram what's the direction no 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 direction anna hari mass doesn't have a direction mass is a scalar quantity weight has a direction downwards mass doesn't have a lamai what is mass amount of substance inside the object nothing amount of substance in amount of particles inside the substance actually amount of particles inside the substance amount of particles inside the substance will it have direction nan so it doesn't have a direction mass is a scalar quantity so answer one wrong answer two time does time have a direction does time have a direction it has a value two o'clock three o'clock a my value is there magnitude is there does it have a direction very good no direction remember actually time is something <clears throat> what you call uh time is a different type of a quantity totally different type of a quantity you can't tell a direction it only has a value and uh, some some scientists tell time is relative scientists tell, tell it is not relative same concepts are there that means relative not relative means now relative means whatever the time i have is the same time you have no? so we all are living in the same time frame so sometimes scientists think like that so we all are living in the same time frame my time is the same your time everyone has the same time so this planet every planet have the same time so same some people are telling. some scientists are telling no time is not relative time here and time on another totally different universe is different we are spending a different time another planet another universe spends another different time and the time depends on the speed at which we are moving. Hema, we can go very deep. Those who have watched uh, Interstellar. Interstellar Balladio. Anybody Interstellar? Christopher Nolan's movie. That correctly explains this. Huh? Those are some, actually, those are not movies, those are scientific documents, actually. That exactly explains how time may. Eh, that explains us how time on earth and when you go out of the earth how it is spent one day on earth seven years came there is a concept like that those concepts are very clearly explained so you can research about it so time is a totally different concept in physics so time has a magnitude it doesn't have a direction it's a scalar quantity velocity velocity scalar or vector velocity scalar or vector it's a vector it has a direction so this sounds also wrong Again, also wrong. Third one, acceleration. Acceleration has a direction or not? Has a direction or not? Yes, it has a direction. It's a vector. Acceleration has a direction. It is a vector. Speed. 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 Does it have a direction? Speed does it have a direction? No, it doesn't have a direction. It's a scalar. Then answer three also wrong. Mass, we already know it's a scalar, it doesn't have a direction. Force, force, scalar or vector, force, scalar or vector. Very good, force is a vector, it has a direction. Then answer four also wrong. Actually speaking, this question, all the answers are wrong. All the answers are wrong. But something to learn about weight we learned, about time we learned, there are things to learn, all the answers are wrong. So sometimes in the exam, these kinds of things happen. Huh? Most of the time in final exam, these kinds of things are minimized. That doesn't mean in the history, never questions like this have appeared. Yes, there are questions like this where you can't answer any answer. So at that instance, they'll give free marks. And sometimes there are issues like this now. Mainly in Sri Lanka, the paper is made in Sinhala medium. When they are, after that only it is translated to other medium. So during translation, if there are any errors, now let's say single medium paper is 100% perfect, English medium paper also 100% perfect, Tamil medium if there is a wrong, now let's take somewhere here, there is a translation issue. 
then 26 question they will have to give free marks no not only for tamil medium english medium single medium every medium they will give free marks that method is also there in the you all don't think okay all the question we can get some free marks and pass the exam don't think like i'm telling there are instances like that so don't panic now some students will again and again and again and again do this question so don't panic there are questions like this just keep in mind 27 what is the correct scientific name of elephant what is the correct scientific name of elephant ah, now listen hmm? now listen Anesa should we memorize the scientific na names? No. Don't go to memorize the scientific names except modern human. Modern human, everyone knows no. what is the scientific name? Homo sapiens. So, except human, all the others, no need to memorize. Then what we should know under scientific names? The rules. The rules when writing or the rules when printing a scientific name you should know what are the rules rule number one rule rule may never you can't tell numbers and there are some rules instruction sorry so first one first one a scientific name has two epithets how many epithets two epithets are there epithets means words simply think like words so two words are there any scientific name you take there are two words so two epithets are there First epithet is genetic epithet. Second epithet is specific epithet. Generic epithet, specific epithet. Generic epithet, specific epithet. Generic epithet, specific epithet. First one. Second one. Scientific names are given in Greek or Latin. So, can you give it in English? No. Can you give it in any other language? No. Greek or Latin. That is the language used to name scientific, used to give scientific names. So, Greek or Latin is used. Greek or Latin language is used. They sometimes ask this, what is the language used? Third one, very important, listen very carefully. First letter of the generic epithet should be capital. First letter of the generic epithet should be capital. All the other letters, all the other letters should be written in simple. All the other letters in simple. First letter of the generic epithet capital, all the other letters simple. Fourth and the fifth rule. Fourth and the fifth rule. If you handwrite it, you need to underline it with two lines. Now, Homo sapien, I handwrite it now. I need to underline it with two lines. I need to underline. In case if I print it, I need to use italic letters what letters i need to use italic letters now here i didn't print it no? if i print it i need to use italic letters remember your school papers not on the papers the exam papers that you do are printed paper don't think it is handwritten they are printed paper so you need to use italic letters okay some students ask like this sir if we handwrite it should we write in italic as well as underline no need Write it normally, underline. When printing also, no need to underline when printing. When printing, use italic, no need to underline. So, handwritten now, only underline, don't think of the other. Printed now, only italic, don't think of the other. So, accordingly, what is the correct answer for question number 27? So, remember the rules. Third, fourth, fifth, uh, second, oh, third, fourth, fifth rules are very important. First letter capital, all the other letters simple. Handwritten and underlined, printed and italic. These are printed papers. Second time. First letter capital, all the other letters simple. What's the answer? Ah, there is issue, no? This question also there is issue. I'll check the original paper. Does anyone have an original paper? Because this one again I duplicated it. Again I fully typed it and only got the paper. Check whether in the original paper this answer. This answer is in italic or not. 
someone check and tell whether it is in italic because this one doesn't have italic letters can you see check whether that answer is in italic somebody colombo paper do we have italic letters i don't have the paper original paper with me ah i have i have are we have we have question 27 ah they have given it in italic original paper is in italic a in the don't worry don't know whether you can see I'll send a photo after the class finishes. I'll send a photo. It's in italic, so it should be this answer. But letters should be italic. Letters should be italic. Letters should be italic. Okay. Hurry. Question twenty-eight. An amphoteric oxide is all. Am I? How many times you have memorized amphoteric oxide? What the amphoteric oxide here? Tell Karo. What's the amphoteric oxide? Oh, what's the amphoteric oxide? No need here. Without looking at the answer, tell me. What's the one and only amphoteric oxide in our syllabus? What's the amphoteric oxide in our syllabus? Ah, uh, Al two O three answer three. Al two O three answer three. Al two O three answer three. Answer three. Al two O three. Question twenty nine. When eighty newton force force is given, eighty newton. See now physics question. Na? See now they give it not that much bigger. However, some big thing is given. Simple question they are going to ask. Eighty newton force is applied on an object. It accelerates at zero point m s to the power minus two. Acceleration given. Force is given. Acceleration given. Force is given. Acceleration given. What is the mass? What is the mass? You all tell me what's the one and only equation that connects F M A. What's the one and only equation that connects F M A? F M A. F M A. Ah, F equal M A. F equal M A. I told you mathematical question. If if any now let's take this equation as three terms. No, out of that three terms, two terms they will give. One term they will ask. See, F is given, A is given, F asked. Can't you find it? Ah, find it and then work, 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 work. Get up, get up, get up. Mm -mm. Get up and work. Get up and work. Work and tell me what's the math there. F is given, A is given. Find find him. Work 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 work. All 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 all. Don't wait until other other someone else works. Hmm. Good. Force is eighty. Acceleration point two. Don't use a calculator, man. Huh? Use your brain. F equals m a. Force is eighty newton. M U don't know acceleration relation zero point two m s to the power minus two. If you subtract mass, multiplication goes to the other side becomes division. Some of you are very scared when you see decimals. I have told you if you have decimals, jump the decimal. How to jump? You jump a zero here eight hundred divided by jump a decimal two eight hundred divided by two. How much? How much? Four hundred kilogram. That's the answer. Four hundred kilogram. Four hundred kilogram. Four hundred kilogram. Answer is answer two. Four hundred kilogram. Answer is answer two. So remember, in physics question, take off the data separately. If you need to apply equation, apply the equation. Find the answer. That's it. What is the weight of the child if the mass is sixty kg? Lama, I mean, what questions? The, hmm, idu galang question na. Mass is sixty. What's the weight? Mass is sixty. What's the weight? Hmm. 
mass is 60, what's the weight? What's the weight? What's the weight? What's the weight? Very good. 60 is the mass multiplied by 10. Uh, what's the answer? Answer 2. Nothing big, huh? nothing big, nothing big. These questions, everyone can score. Huh? Everyone can score. Scorable question. Scorable question. 31. Product of photosynthesis is translocated by. Product of photosynthesis translocated by. Product of photosynthesis translocated by. Lama, I listen very carefully. Photosynthesis is mainly done in the leaves, green leaves. Photosynthesis mainly done in the leaves. Main product of photosynthesis is glucose. So, as soon as the leaf do photosynthesis, it will produce glucose. Listen very carefully. Huh? You are uploading to the mind. I am telling it goes to your eyes. It should upload to the mind. So, that we learn. Main product of photosynthesis is glucose. That glucose is now produced in the leaf. There you go. Main product, glucose. Main product, glucose. We have a problem there. What's the problem? Glucose is highly reactive. Even if it sees the oxygen, quickly it will react and produce some other compounds. Is it good? No, no. You spend all this time to produce some glucose. But as soon as the glucose is produced, it will react with oxygen and produce something else it will. Not good, no. If I tell it in your words, you are spending lot of time and making a beautiful cake. You are decorating it with icing. The moment you are going to eat it, it falls down on the other side on the floor. At 11, all your hard work is lost. So, is it good? No. So, glucose, it's highly reactive. As soon as it is produced, it can easily even react with oxygen and produce something else. Therefore, as soon as glucose is produced, it will be converted into starch and temporarily stored in the leaf. But as soon as glucose is produced, it will be converted into starch, temporarily stored in the leaves. Again, tell me. As soon as glucose is produced, it will be converted into starch temporarily stored in the leaves. There you go. It will be converted to starch temporarily stored in the leaves. Why temporarily stored? I mean, in case if it is permanently stored, leaves won't be like leaves. Leaves will be like Tadi Batala. It will be big, these things. And then it's just temporarily stored. Just temporarily. Just temporarily stored. No? That means after some time you should transport it. You should supply this to other parts of the plant. There are also we have a problem. So my starch is something like kar, maavu maari, piti vage. Just like flour. You all tell me, can you send some flour in a tube? Can you transport some flour in a tube? Is it possible? And remember, flour, it can be flour won't, wheat flour and all doesn't dissolve in water. We learnt it already. So it doesn't dissolve also in water. So can you transport it in a tube, small, small, teeny, teeny tubes? No. So can you transport it in phy phylum? No. Phylum, ne, phloem. Phylum, ne, phloem. Can you transport it in phloem? No, you can't transport it. Therefore, when you want to transport it, it is converted into sucrose, dissolved with water and made into sucrose solution. What is sucrose? Sugar. Sugar solution, you can transport it in a tube. So, when you want to transport it, it is converted to sucrose solution and transported. This is called as translocation. So, remember, main the product of photosynthesis is translocated in the form of sucrose solution, translocated in the form of sucrose solution. So, these are the questions. Huh? Main product of photosynthesis is glucose. Main product of photosynthesis is glucose. Glucose is temporarily stored in the leaves as starch. Glucose is temporarily stored in the leaves as starch. 
product of photosynthesis is translocated as sucrose product of photosynthesis is translocated as sucrose again the three questions are main product of photosynthesis is glucose product of photosynthesis is temporarily stored in the leaves as starch product of photosynthesis is translocated as sucrose solution Product of photosynthesis is translocated as sucrose solution. Answer this. Answer this. Mm. What is the name of the apparatus shown below which can be used for the distillation process? Lamai, what is this? What is this? It's a condenser. What, what, what's the name? What's the name of that condenser? Under distillation, you'd have learned. Under distillation, you'd have learned. This one. What is this? What condenser? What condenser? Ah, Leibig condenser. Lokuburu. Periapoi. Leibig condenser. Okay. So that is a Leibig condenser. Okay. That's a Leibig condenser. Hmm. Question 33. Type of electromagnetic wave used in destroying cancer cell. Destroying cancer. For cancer treatment, what electromagnetic waves are used? Gamma rays. What rays are used? Gamma rays. For destroying cancer cells, gamma rays are used. Okay, gamma rays are used. So for destruction, it can cancer treatment, you use gamma rays. Thirty-four, thirty-four. What is the correct clause about image of an object which is kept in front of a convex mirror? Convex mirror. Lama, I remember an object is placed in front of a convex mirror. Always the image is virtual, upright, diminished. What are the properties? Always the image is virtual, upright, diminished. Now it's a remember. Price. In front of a convex mirror. In front of a convex mirror. Convex mirror now. Cave part is rough. Then outer part is reflecting surface. If you keep an object in front of a convex mirror. Always. Huh? Always. Always the image is virtual. Virtual. Upright. And diminished. Diminished means becomes smaller image becomes smaller diminished now which are memorized now which are memorized image formed by convex mirrors are always virtual upright diminished again image formed by convex mirrors are always virtual upright diminished what's the answer what's the answer question 34 you all tell, you all tell, you all tell. Work, 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 work. We are putting things into the mind and we are working on questions. Work. All, 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 all. You memorize now. It's there in the mind. Don't fool yourself. It's there in the mind. Take it out and tell me the answer. What's the answer? Always virtual. Always virtual. So, can you see all the other answers are opposite to it? Always real can name. Opposite is always virtual. Inverted, inverted, the name always upright. Magnified, the name always diminished. So, all the other answers are opposite to it. Opposite answer. Opposite answer. 35. Mm. What is the answer which includes phases only with ovary during menstrual cycle? Phases only with ovary during menstrual cycle. Right. There you go. Very important short note. Huh? Very, very, very important short note. Listen very carefully. Listen very carefully. Huh? Very important short note. Right. Now my menstrual cycle. The changes happen during menstrual cycle is associated with two locations. 
changes that happen during menstrual cycle are in two locations. What are the two locations? Listen very carefully. What are the two locations? One ovary, ovary to uterus. So basically, during menstrual cycle, there will be some changes happening at ovary as well as there will be some changes happening at uterus. So ovary also there will be changes happening. Uterus also there will be changes happening. Now put it to the mind. Now put it to the mind. During menstrual cycle, at two places changes are happening. What are the two places? Ovary, uterus. Again, during menstrual cycle, at two places there are changes happening. What are the two places? Ovary, uterus. Recorded to the mind? Right. Mm. Continuation. Now my changes that take place at ovary can be divided to two phases. Can be divided to two phases. Two phases. Initial phase and the second phase. What is the initial phase? Follicular phase. What's the initial phase? Follicular phase. What is the initial phase? Follicular phase. Put it to the mind. Changes that take place in ovary, two phases. Initial phase, follicular phase. Then second phase, that is the last phase. Second phase is luteal phase. Luteal phase. Luteal phase. So basically, changes that take place in ovary happens by two phases. Follicular phase, luteal phase. Again, changes that take place in ovary takes place in two phases. Follicular phase, luteal phase. Put it to the mind. Right. Next, changes that take place in uterus. There you have three phases. There you have three phases. Not hard, not hard. We are uploading to the mind. Listen, changes that take place in uterus. There are three phases. What are the three phases? First one, very simple, menstrual phase. Menstrual phase. First one, menstrual phase. Menstrual phase. First one, menstrual phase. First one, menstrual phase. Second one, proliferation phase. Second one, proliferation phase. Second one, proliferation phase. Second one, proliferation phase. Last one, secretory phase. Last one, secretory phase. Secretory phase. Last one, secretory phase. Secretory phase. That's it. Changes that take place in ovary, there are two phases, follicular phase, luteal phase, follicular phase, luteal phase. Changes that take place in uterus, there are three phases, menstrual phase, proliferation phase, secretory phase. Menstrual phase, proliferation phase, secretory. Okay. What is the question asking? What is the answer which include phases only with ovary, only with ovary, without looking at anything, only with ovary. Tell me the initial phase and the final phase. Only with ovary, initial phase and the final phase. Tell, 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 work. This lesson is not hard, not hard. Only thing is you have put everything as a bigger thing in your mind. Summarize it, summarize it. Again, I tell summarize it. Make short notes. Mm, mm, mm. Everyone, everyone, now we learn, now we learn, now we learn, changes in ovary, changes in ovary, what are the two phases, changes in ovary, what are the two phases, it's there in your mind, squeeze your mind, take it out, work it, what are the two phases, what are the two phases, all, 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 follicular phase and luteal phase, answer three, no, follicular phase and luteal phase, answer three. Answer three. Follicular phase, luteal phase, answer three. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Mm. 35 done. Remember now, only 15 questions we have discussed so far, but the amount of knowledge we have gathered is a lot done. Mm. Now, not only these questions, many other questions you can do from this. Now, that is what we are practicing from here. Might be the number of questions we discuss is less, but we are going very deep there and taking off everything from your mind and reminding things. 
that is what i am doing hurry <sighs> what is the pressure exerted by sea water on an object which is immersed 10 meter 10 meter h is there 10 meter see now physics question see always physics question how i do while reading there will be big big things told i round off the important data and take the data separately immerse that 10 meter h is there deep in the sea density of water density of water rho is given density of water rho is the given gravitational acceleration la my units there is a small typing mistake there you all know the unit gravitational acceleration h is there g is there what is the pressure what is the pressure what's the pressure mm. four terms a uh, equation with four terms what is that how to find the pressure tell me one and only equation that connects h rho and g what's the one and only equation that connects h rho and g you know you know don't fool yourself it's there in your mind it's there in your mind what's the equation you should use here what's the equation you should use here what's the equation mm, very good hydrostatic pressure is equal to h rho g see four terms are there in the equation guaranteed three terms will be given see h is given rho is given g is given they are asking the hydrostatic pressure find 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 work don't use a calculator multiply h rho g and find me the pressure don't use a calculator you all work make the brain think what's the answer what's the answer very good answer one why i tell it is with the with the mind itself you can do no 1050 zero, zero. multiplied by zero then 1050 zero, zero, another zero multiply by another zero then another zero so to this add two zero one zero five zero another two zero is answer two no need to even write it just by looking you can tell the answer see one zero five zero add another zero add another zero that's the answer so some mcq question you don't need to sit and write you don't need to waste time one shot you can tell what is the type of reaction to which the following chemical reaction belongs to don't think much separate it see a is there joining with b nothing combining with b producing c a combining with b producing c a combining with b producing c what type of reaction what can be this reaction you all tell now let's say you don't know anything about types of reaction what can be check the answers and tell a combining with b producing c think very simply think and tell what can be this reaction a combining with b producing c what can be this mm. combination reaction chemical combination reaction this chemical combination see calcium oxide combining with water to produce calcium hydroxide that is something to learn from here also always remember when a oxide calcium oxide oxide when a oxide react with water when a oxide react with water its hydroxide will be produced what are that when a oxide react with water its hydroxide will be produced calcium oxide with water calcium hydroxide then magnesium oxide with water magnesium hydroxide now you all tell me sodium oxide with water sodium oxide reacted with water what's the product sodium oxide reacted with water what's the product sodium oxide reacted with water what's the product very good sodium hydroxide so oxide with water hydroxide oxide with water hydroxide additional point eh? additional point 
not a granulated type of white blood cell not a granulated type of white blood cell not a granulated type of white blood cell listen la hmm? my white blood cells white blood cells you can mainly divide them into two white blood cells you can mainly divide them into two one granulocytes granulocytes two non granulocytes non granulocytes non granulocytes now we are memorizing now we are memorizing white blood cell divided into two granulocytes non granulocytes white blood cell divided into two granulocytes and non granulocytes granulocytes there are three types granulocytes there are three types fill 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 what to fill basophil eosinophil neutrophil fill 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 what to fill basophil eosinophil neutrophil fill 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 what to fill basophil eosinophil neutrophil where to fill granulocytes okay understood so granulocytes there are three fill 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 what to fill basophil eosinophil neutrophil where to fill granulocytes okay non granulocyte site 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 huh? actually two are there monocyte monocyte lymphocyte monocyte lymphocyte non granulocyte site site monocyte lymphocyte where to sit non granulocyte hari prime hari song hari some more put it to the mind etc hmm? again white blood cell there are two types granulocyte non granulocyte granulocyte there are three fill 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 what to fill basophil eosinophil neutrophil where to fill granulocyte non granulocyte site site <coughs> what site monocyte lymphocyte where to sit non granulocyte hari so when you see fill 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 granulocyte site 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 non granulocyte what are they asking what are they asking granulocyte granulated kyanne granulocyte granulocyte site granulocyte granulocyte fill 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 what's the answer a uh, not a not a not a not a mm, not a granulocyte not a granulocyte not a granulocyte not a granulocyte nan fill 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 will not go there go no fill 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 will go fill 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 goes fill 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 goes granulocyte is fill 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 no fill 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 goes answer is lymphocyte answer is lymphocyte answer lymphocyte answer lymphocyte answer lymphocyte gas that could be present in balloon inflated by a man lamai what you release what gas you release think simply ah don't think like scientist i told you think simply and tell me what you can feel mm carbon dioxide answer three carbon dioxide answer three. carbon dioxide answer three. last question baby what is the most suitable alternative energy source that can be used to face the energy crisis in sri lanka now usually la my 40th mcq is a very practical mcq you need to think very practically think sometimes 40th mcq there will be two three answers as well but you need to just think an answer like see now alternative energy source for energy crisis in sri lanka energy crisis in sri lanka hari what's the most possible one thing are high tide low tide qm there are a, there are, now that also can be used but more than that you have something no now wind is already there and wind flow is not much experienced in sri lanka puttalam and hambandot area they use wind power station not much what's the best one nowadays world what's the best one 
best energy ah solar energy solar energy you know actually how does solar panels work in sri lanka now in sri lanka now we don't have separately solar power station in sri lanka we don't have a separate power station called solar power station so what they do is we they make us to fix solar panels to our roof we 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 fix solar panels to the roof from our own cost because initial cost is very high for solar panel solar panel we fix it in our roof we fix it people will fix it and the current that they produce will be given to the electricity board now let's say you have fixed it in your roof the current that you produce will be given to the electricity board now just think not one house no la thousands and two thousands of houses will have solar panel so from that they will get the current and electricity board will supply the current for your house your house the normal current will be supplied by electricity board the billing will be reduced actually whatever you give and whatever you take from that they will reduce the bill and print your bill this is how your bill is made electricity bill is made so in case if you can produce more you can send more to the electricity board so that that way now let's take our houses now sometimes we we can produce more that we don't use no so whatever we produce everything you send it to the electricity board they will give it they will distribute it throughout sri lanka so that's how solar panels in sri lanka actually works that's why now nowadays there are loans also given for those who are interested in fixing solar panels to the houses separate loan scheme is there to promote this so basically we our electricity board will get electricity from us and they reduce and they distribute it to some other place that's actually a good method actually it's a private kind of it's privatized solar panels are actually privatized that's how it functions just extra knowledge for you just keep in mind sometimes they can ask in exams no eh in the giving you all that extra knowledge as well hurry before we finish before we finish now this program one week one week seven days gone seven days gone last week i told you somehow first 10 question you are getting prepared for that somehow first 10 question you are going to prepare for that i told you we have lot of things to study yes true but most of you were confused on where to start what to start i told you lamai this paper itself you go get the start this paper itself you go get the start this paper you go get the start where to get the start where to get the start i told you first Ten questions. First ten question. Whatever the questions that you went wrong, those lessons start studying. I know some of you still has not started. That is how human is. That is how human is. Don't think that me. You are impractical human. Human every. What oh now first day. Now once tell something. The first day motivation that you have slowly slowly that drops down. That is how human is. What we should do is start. keep pushing you keep pushing you whenever when that motivation drops down a bit again give a push again give a push because as i always tell your potential is not the potential that you think until now you have never ta- taken the 100% potential out of you you have a huge amount of potential hidden inside you that you are lazy to take off again i use the word that you are lazy to take off if you can take it out you are the best human in this whole world guaranteed for sure because no one likes to take that 100% potential la my life is only one take that 100 potential 100% potential somehow out don't be lazy now you are already 15 16 years and still you don't have time to be lazy scientifically if i explain you your metabolism rate is at the maximum you can never experience such a metabolism again in your life after you pass 25 years so this time slot up to 25 years that is the best time slot in your life to work so when you are doing something do to your 100 percentage now today most of you attended 100 percentage no you all you all you all understood no now some things things in the mind if we squeeze the mind we can take it out there are things stored in our mind there are methods to take it out all those things you understood it no somehow today work that same way throughout this week throughout this week you are going to work not only for science all the other subjects all the other subjects guaranteed you are going to work as i always told still always tell still 
day is not over still minimum one and a half hours is there work keep work keep work okay i will meet you all with the next paper discussion most probably next week most probably candy paper will be there after i remake it i'll put it to the group and meet you all. okay keep working on